Hello kittens! Silver here with Lassa the Snow Leopard by Douglas Cuddle Toys and today I have an especially exciting package that arrived uh, because this is my first ever package from the amazing Crywolf who I am such a huge fan of. I've been watching her channel for years and years, even before I became a really serious plush collector. So the fact that I was able to get some plush from her is just mind-blowing. I am so, so excited. I'm going to try to keep cool during, during this video, but I'm probably going to be fighting a losing battle, just as an FYI. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to take a second because... Um, this tape is like the coolest, most fancy tape that I've seen, I've ever seen anybody use on a package. It's kind of like got this animal print vibe to it, which is completely up my alley, totally my aesthetic. So I just wanted to point that out really quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to get this box open. I'll probably put Lassa aside because she takes up quite a lot of room. Uh, and so I have some uh, plush here that I know about and a couple of surprises. So uh, we're going to discover together just what lies inside. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the package is open now and we are ready. And I'm going to try to hold the camera steady, but I'm <laughs> really excited as you maybe can tell. So it might be a little bit tricky for me. <laughs> But let's see, now the first one up is, I think I know who this is just based on the texture. Oh boy, here we go. <gasps> Look at this cutie, oh my gosh. This is Pierre, the Black Poodle by Douglas Cuddle Toys. Oh my gosh, he is so, so adorable. Look at him. Oh my goodness, and look at that silky muzzle. The muzzle actually reminds me a lot of St. John, who's like one of my all-time favorite Douglas dogs ever. It's got that really smooth, velvety, minky feel to it. And I just love like the crazy curly hair on top and on his ears. Oh my gosh. And he's so floppy too. That was the, one of the things that immediately attracted to me when I saw the picture of this plush. Oh my gosh, he's perfectly floppy absolutely adorable uh, and this is also my first poodle plush ever um, definitely my first one by Douglas but just all around um, wow and what a cutie I'm surprised that Douglas doesn't make more poodles like in all different colors too because this guy is so, oh my god he's so cute look at him the face is just precious and look, he still has his little hang tag that she's got around his neck. Oh, that's I actually love that idea because it's kind of um, intrusive sometimes when, you know, the hang tags are just kind of like, you know, sticking off the side of them or, any, or something and, you know, kind of makes it harder for them to uh, for you to cuddle them. So that's actually a really, really cute idea. I might have to uh, I might have to borrow that from you. And then he's got the little fluff on the end of his tail. Oh my gosh, and he's so, so silky smooth. And I, I just love the texture of this, this sort of crimped, curly fur. Oh my gosh, the cutest poodle ever. I think so. Oh my gosh, and he's got those beautiful, sort of soulful brown eyes that Douglas dogs are so well known for. Oh my gosh, his face is so perfect. Oh, he is so sweet. He's mon chéri, Pierre. <laughs> I did actually take French for a few years back in um, middle school and high school, but I'm very rusty, so <laughs> apologies for the horrible accent. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. He's so adorable. Wow, I did not expect to fall as deeply in love with this dog as I, as I am right now, but he is so cute. I, I can't thank you enough. Whew, all right, so that's just number one. Um, now let's see what else is waiting in this package. All right, I'm kind of sneaking a little bit because I, I can kind of see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. It's Dallas, everybody. There she is. I believe Dallas is a she. I was looking up information because... Um, 
This dog is actually based on a real life dog by, uh, or that's owned by Danica Patrick, who's seen here. She's a race car driver, and I guess that must be her husband. And there's the real dog right there. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, and look at the face on this Dallas. It's so perfect. Oh my goodness, such a sweet, sweet face. And look at those, oh my gosh, those gorgeous blue eyes. I just love, love, love that shade of blue. It's almost like, um, like an ocean blue or like a cerulean type. Oh, it's so pretty. And she's got that beautiful pink airbrushing on the inside of her ears. Um, a lot like actually Lobo, the uh, the husky by Douglas, who was uh, new this year in 2021. But um, oh, I love the uh, the color of the coat as well. She is, um, I believe, the real Dallas is actually a mini Siberian husky, um, and I just love the fact that it's a different shade of red than the uh, the other Douglas huskies. It's almost more like a strawberry blonde, like a cream colored. And super soft and you could see her uh, her little collar around her neck with her name on it oh my gosh she's so so beautiful and that nice soft fur now she has a black plastic nose and Pierre has the leatherette nose oh my gosh thank you so so much she's so beautiful oh my gosh her face is just perfection, and sometimes you can't always say that for for these uh, for for the Dallas dogs, um, but this one is absolutely just stunning. Oh, I can't wait to see her next to uh to my Coda Red Husky and even Penny the Pomsky. They're going to be such a cute trio together. Oh my goodness, so so nice. Thank you again. All right, so let's see what else we have lying in wait. Now we got, I see this, oh, we got a tiger here for sure. Oh, look at this. This is a jelly cat tiger. Oh my gosh. Would you believe this is my first jelly cat ever? I've never owned jelly cat before. And oh my gosh, feeling it now. I'm wondering why it's taken me so long because wow, that fur is super, super soft almost um it almost reminds me a little bit of the sun lemon fur texture it's that that baby soft wow i'm so stunned thank you so much for for including this adorable little tiger oh and look it's got a little oh look at the nose it's kind of like um oh i don't know what that material is actually it's it's like a, a harder nose but it's got kind of like um a velvety feel to it Oh my gosh, I could just stroke this forever. It's so, so soft and so floppy too. Look at him, oh, so cute. Let me see his little eyes. Where is his eyes? He's got, they got lost in the fur. There they are. <laughs> oh, he's got this beautiful rich caramel color. It's sort of more like a dark brown stripe rather than your typical black. Let's take a look at his tush tag too. So there we have the Jelly Cat, London. I wonder if they have names on, on these or... No, I guess not. Oh wow, thank you so much though. He is so adorable. All right, and I think I see um, a very familiar sight on this next plushie. I'm just kind of peeking in the box, and I see a W, so I'm thinking that, yes, it's a Webkins. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is actually one of the only Webkins cats that I don't own. I don't know if you how you knew that, but, um, yeah, this was probably, I think this was the only one that I didn't own, in fact. Look at the face on this. Oh, my gosh. Those eyes are just, I could get lost in those eyes. So pretty. I believe this is the Webkin's Gray Tabby, if I'm not mistaken. I love that it's in a laying pose too, unlike my other uh, Webkin signatures. And the coloring is so, so nice. The the light gray with the, with the darker gray on top. 
and the white legs and the cute little airbrushed toe, uh, toe details a little white on the end of the tail so wait, here we should be able to see exactly what this is called I think Oh, the name was Sky. I'm gonna keep that name for sure. So, yep, Web Webkin Signature Gray Tabby Cat. Oh, thank you so much for Sky. She's so pretty. Oh, I love her. She's gonna go perfect with the rest of my Webkin's cats, which I actually have to make a, a video collection of. Um, so I'm really glad that I'm gonna be able to include this beauty in it uh, as well. So, thank you so much for adding her. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, now as, as if that wasn't enough, there's still some more to be... Oh, look at this. I, I completely... <laughs> oh, I, I completely dropped the ball and I, I forgot to um, uh, to read the note. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this picture. Oh, thank you so much for buying these. I know they will get a great home. Love, Crywolf. Oh, thank you. You are completely right about that. Um... Wow, I'm already in love and I'm not even finished yet. <laughs> I don't even know if I can go on. I'm like already overwhelmed. And look at that beautiful drawing. You're such a talented artist. I, oh, I just love your work. Thank you so much. All right, I re that really should have been the first part of the of the unboxing, but <laughs> I was a little over eager. Okay, so now here's one that I definitely know about. This is... It's Larry. It's Larry the leopard. Oh, look at Larry. So sweet. I've been wanting to get Larry for a while and I hadn't really found one with a face that I had connected with. But when I saw yours, um, I just thought he had the sweetest, most perfect little face. And he's kind of got that style that, um, that Lassa has, who is still down here somewhere. He's one of the older um, Douglas Wildcats. So you can, whoop, there's Lassa. <laughs> there she is. So you can kind of see it's got kind of like that, um, um, you know, this, this style nose, like that velvety, um, soft, you know, larger nose than some of the, uh, the more current Wildcats. Oh my goodness. And again, so nice and floppy. Oh, look at how floppy. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love Larry. He's so cute. And you can see he's also got a little bit of subtle uh, airbrush little markings right on his forehead here too. And again, he's got those, uh, those really rich brown eyes that are a Douglas trademark. And really, really soft. The nice long tail. I'd say Larry's probably a good, at least, probably at least, I don't know, 16 or more inches. Let's see how he compares to him. Yeah, he's about the same size as Pierre, so he'd probably be about 16 inches. Oh, he's so cute. And also, I have the uh, the white tiger, Tonga, who is going to look so perfect with him. They are definitely meant to be together. I'm going to have to uh, do an, another video um, showing off the two of them or, or even the trio with um, with Lassa down there because they've all got that same uh, really adorable sort of teddy bear style about them. So thank you once again. And then last but not least, this is the big kahuna. Well, he's actually going to be probably the smallest um, out of all these little beans. But this was a huge grail of mine. Um, oh my gosh, here he comes. Peekaboo! <laughs> oh my god, oh my gosh, it's Tonka! Holy cow, I cannot believe that I have Tonka. I can't believe that you came forward and, and contacted me about about Tonka and, and and all these other beans as well but oh my gosh Tonka I, I can't even tell you uh, how much I wanted this cat I, I hesitated even posting him um, on my Instagram because I figured oh what are the chances you know that somebody's actually gonna have Tonka and that would have been a huge mistake if I hadn't done it because um, wow here he is now and oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I love, love, love him. He is so, so cute. 
and I just love the coloring. It is completely different from any other cat plush I have. There's just no comparison to anyone else. Um, Tonka is a Tonkanese cat, uh, which is one of those breeds that you really don't see represented um, in the world of plush. I don't know if there, I mean, maybe there are other Tonkanese cats, but if so, I haven't seen them. And I just absolutely love the coat on him. It's got this sort of multicolored, um, sort of brown and like cream, like a creamy white, and then the darker brown on the end, on the backs of the ears and on the tips of the feet, which is so cute. Like he's wearing a little pair of socks. Oh, he's so cute. And look at the, even the nose color is so different. It's got like a, it's, yeah, like a, like a light chocolatey brown color and these beautiful, almost luminous golden yellow eyes. He's got his little whiskers. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I cannot believe that I've got a Tonka now. Oh, thank you so, so much for him and for everything. Holy cow. <laughs> and oh. I don't want to forget this, Tonka still has his tags attached, which just doubly blows my mind. So let's see. I've been calling him Tonka the whole time. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? This is Theo. I feel like such a fool right now. Why did I think Tonka? This is Theo. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm that just completely, uh, I don't know, out of it right now. Wow, I cannot believe that the whole time I was calling him Tonka when he is Theo. Please, my apologies. Guys, this is Theo. Can we do a, re can we do a redo or... <laughs> no, this is going to be completely unedited and, and it's just going to air as it was filmed. Um, so, <laughs> my apologies for that mistake. Um, so yeah, Theo here <laughs> is an absolute stunner. Uh, I just, I cannot thank you enough for for everything this is holy moly it's gonna take me a while just to process all of this because this is just crazy crazy generous of you i i can't believe that that i have all of these in my collection now and this and just I, i'm so thankful i'm so so glad you reached out to me and um i hope someday somehow i can repay the favor um wow but thank you again and uh I'll make sure also to leave a link to Crywolf's channel in case um, anybody hasn't seen it yet, which if you're a plush enthusiast, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to her. Um, so that is that is my Crywolf package. Um, thank you once again. Thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I will be back again soon with some more plush goodness uh, next time. So bye, everybody.